Hello. It's us again. Yes, it is. Me Hello. And Me and him. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to be American, you know. Do something funky. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello once again from the Vapor Miss. Hello. Bringing you pure, good taste, sane reviews. One has to say. Oh God! Right. Today we're going to be talking to you about these. Ooh. Not PVs. The clue is on the side. Here. You, you need to hold it a bit lower. <laughs> there you go. Well, it, that's not the first time you said that. Your juice is dangling by your <laughs> by your device. <laughs> right. Shooty vape mate from Lisa. Lovely little devices, absolutely ingenious in what they do. Uh, sorry about that, there was a cat just running up the stairs like a lunatic. <laughs> Fits in quite well here. Now, it's all the vapour. <laughs> absolutely ingenious little device. These little things can take from a 5ml bottle up to a 30ml bottle. For today's demonstrational purposes, I am using a 20ml bottle. And I use a 10! Is it smaller? <laughs> it's not the size to tell you use it. At least I don't flood atomizers. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> he flooded his. A I lot. did. I killed my little gem. It, it has ceased to be. It's an X gem. It has shuffled off its mortal vapor. <laughs> oh, oh, it shuffled off this mortal coil and gone to meet its vapor. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, as some of you are aware, I do have some problems with dexterity. So the chances of me taking this apart to show you how it works is pretty minimal. So, I have a man that can. Uh, yeah. Right. So before I take it apart, I'm just going to show you a little bit. There you go. It's a tiny little thing compared to the device. And I thought it was going to be a big lumbering beast, but uh, many thanks to Mr. Kitson for showing me that it wasn't at the meet in town with. Mm -hmm. Sexy little beast you are. Anyway, on the one side you have, focus, focus, there we go, a little, I like your camera, hmm. it's mine now. Oi! <laughs> You've got a little eye, eyeglass there so you can see how much liquid is going through. Um, inside the bottle you have a nice little length of uh, tubing you get about uh, two thirty mils worth. Well, you get sixty mils worth of length, really, if you think about it logically. I don't do logic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that to the uh, professionals. Are there such a thing? Mm. May I refer you to Dell? No. <laughs> he has a point. A very good point, and a very good device. Um, let me pop him off. It does have a very snug fit on the atomizers. Uh, I believe it works with 901s as well as 510s. They're the same, normally the same, uh, what's the name? Um, comes in a variety of finishes. This one is the, what did they call it? Aluminium. Brushed aluminium. Brushed aluminium, that's the one. Uh, but you can get it in a shiny one. I'm disappointed that I couldn't. Blues, reds, greens. Hmm. For, you know, do, I think they do a pink. I, <laughs> I auto shut off on that colour, I'm afraid. Yes. <laughs> Shiny. Denial. Oi. <laughs> Behave. Well, main. Main's man. Easy tiger. Yeah, it's a tiny little thing. And it's very well made, very well machined. Uh, that's why the price is so high, because of the amount of work that goes into making these little beauties. Um, but that's, that's really all there is to it. It's a tiny little foolproof device, unless you're Andy. Mm -hmm. No, in fairness, it is a learning device. It is. It's, 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 it's really, obviously, the size of your bottles and how much pressure you squeeze. You only need the tiniest squeeze. Well, well, it depends yeah. on the uh, thickness of the juice as well. Yeah. If you're going full VG, then obviously it might need a bit, bit more of a squeeze. Um, if you've got a mix, like I have 50-50, then... You know, it, it, with this bottle, doesn't take much. Mm. But obviously, if you're 
primarily PG, then it's going to be very runny and you're going to flood it very quickly, unfortunately, like yeah. Andy did. It is a learning learning experience. Um, but once you get it pat, and I gave this one a squeeze and it hasn't flooded, <laughs> then, uh, you know, it's all good. The makers even give you a little uh, note with it um, that says it is, you know, a device that you learn rather than just pop it on and rock on. So, you know, it will take some getting used to, and I recommend that you don't use it on the little gem or no. anything with uh, PCB on it. No. Um, also, with the silver bullet, uh, the vent hole for the silver bullet goes up through uh, to the atomizer. I, uh, I did flood this once, I will admit, um, with a different mix of juice because it was coloured, just so I could have a look, see what was going on. Um, and it did end up going through into the battery, so I had to clean it all off. You know, paranoid about juice being everywhere on the battery. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard some rumours. Well, <laughs> CCTV cameras out of Tesco's. Yes, I once stole a sign that said CCTV in operation. <laughs> <laughs> you just said that. <laughs> Almost. Hello. It was me when I was thirteen. It's all right. They're a new ownership now. They won't oh, care. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. But I mean, for what it is, it's a very simple device. Yeah. And, and it's actually a very well-designed device. Um, it, it's just good. But as Jim said, it, it is £52, uh, plus the postage and stuff. Um, but there is a lot of work gone into it for what is effectively a simple device. And that's what the best devices are. Mm -hmm. It's simple. The more stuff you put onto them, the more there is to go wrong. So, yes. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, thank you very much. Cloud9. Dot. Cloud9 vaping. Oh, yes. Yeah. I can't forget that. the vaping part. No. Mm, have you seen her? No, I haven't met Lisa yet. No, I haven't met her, but I've seen a photo. Oh, have you? Yes. Mind you. You, you, know, you, know, you know what forum photos are like. You know, she's probably six foot four and I'm an ex trucker. Trucker's elbow. <laughs> 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 we don't mean it, Lisa. No, we don't. He loves you, really. I haven't met you or seen a picture, so I can't say, can't say. But you have been very nice to me on the email. Yes. So, um, yes. Fifty-two pounds. Um, Fifty-two, roughly, yep. plus postage and packaging. Very well-made device. You're paying for the work that's gone into it. That's what I say. It yeah. did take. It did. Like I said, it took me a while to justify paying the amount for it. But then, as soon as I saw it in action, I thought, actually, it's worth it. So I got one. Hmm. And um, I almost forgot because this is the second one. Uh, this one. Th these are available, as we say, from Lisa. But this particular one came from Mark. And I wish to say thank you to Maria, the lovely Maria. Maria, Aqua Maria. Sorry, I just watched Stingray as a child. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Maria. <laughs> thank you for posting it, my sweets. You have an extra special hug. Be careful of his. <laughs> they come with something attached. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> and, um, it got to me on Saturday. Thank you very much. Anyway, this has been the Vapor Mists. Yes, hello, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry oh, for the love. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, look at the photo. Mm, yeah. Seven. There we go. I have a dirty great big signed autographed picture of seven of nine. Yeah, give it to you for your birthday. I know, he's very nice to me. <laughs> she has certain two-somethings about her. I mm. just quite like her. She's very... Hmm. I think we're, di well, di we're digressing a bit. Di digressing? Ingressing? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Simulate this. Right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>